My name is Leah. Uh, my name is Kai. We're uh, lifeguards with Richmond Aquatics. Uh, today we're here at the Aquatic Center. We're here to demonstrate uh, how to do CPR and how to use an AED. We are not official trainers of CPR, so um, any mistakes we make or errors we make right now are just um, flubs. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we practice this, or we had to do this in real life on December 18, 2013, to help one of our regular patrons um, who went into cardiac arrest. Um, yeah, so we'll give a short demo on that. So you always check to see if they're conscious. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Are you awake? With no response, we call 911 right away. Um, so whether it's ourselves making the phone call or another staff member, we would phone. Um, we need to get the paramedics here as soon as possible. And then we open the airway, so with a head tilt chin lift, and check for breathing. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. The patient is not breathing, so we would start compressions for CPR right away. So this is a pocket mask with a one-way valve. It protects the rescuer as well as the victim. And what we do is we breathe through the top and I'll give the, the victim air. Yeah, okay. So after we deem that there's uh, the, our patient is not breathing, we go straight into chest compressions. It'll be 30 compressions to two respirations. Um, for an adult male, it's approximately two inches deep. Uh, in a real life scenario, you just have to push hard. 30. So one breath, two breaths. And then you would continue doing 30 compressions to two breaths. Um, if you have an AED, you would put that on right away. If you don't, you would continue this until the paramedics arrive. Chair open package and we move back. Chair open package and we move back. 60, 70. Chair open package and we move back. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Peel one pad from plastic liner. So we don't have to. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Peel a second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. Peel a second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. It is now safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. Give 30 compression. Uh, this is a trainer, so it doesn't have the shock cycle built in, but if it deems that there is a heart arrhythmia, it will give a shock, and at that point we'd back off. It would alert everyone uh, in the vicinity to back away um, from the patient, and it will then shock the patient. Um, and then afterwards, it will cue when to start CPR again. Um, it does have a rhythm cue, so you know um, how fast we need to go for the compressions, and it'll be the same as before, 30 compressions to two respirations. Um, and then you continue doing that until either the paramedics arrive or the AED um, alerts yourself to back away from the patient again if it deems that a shock is necessary. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we do.